Modern science owes its origin directly to the Quran. Now this is a bold claim and a claim like this requires evidence. In the first episode, we talked about how the scientific revolution of Europe was just a product of the golden age of Islam. Or in the words of the French anthropologist Robert Brefall, the renaissance of Europe did not take place in the 15th century. Rather, it began when Europe learned from the culture of the Arabs. The cradle of European awakening is not Italy, it is Muslim Spain. But to say that the Quran created modern science is a very powerful statement. Much more powerful and true than saying Muslim scientists of the golden age made significant contributions to modern science. Uh, let me explain this by an example. If I were to invent something, then the credit of that uh, ingenious invention goes solely to me. But if somehow it is found that my faith or this divine book was the main driving force behind my invention, then the credit is due to this book. And while the, the inventor can die, the spirit and the potential that is contained within this book remains. As Dr. Usman Bakr says, these sciences are Islamic not just because they have been produced by Muslims. As a matter of fact, many non-Muslims made important contributions to the growth and development of Islamic science. Rather, these sciences deserve the name Islamic science because they are organically related to the fundamental teachings of Islam, the most important of which is the principle of Tawheed, the oneness of God.